this is Pete from Eurovesi. And while the ad breaks are going on and the interval act is going on, here's my immediate reaction to the songs uh, on the Late Late Show's uh, Euro song, which is choosing the song for Ireland this year. So same format as last year, uh, six songs uh, as part of the Late Late Show, uh, hosted by Ryan Gibridi. And Ryan has... Uh, said some fairly optimistic things uh, so far, saying that Ireland are going to win the Eurovision Song Contest this year and that this is Ireland's year. Um, I'm going to talk about the songs in a second, but I'm not sure that this is the year. Uh, nice to see Marty Whelan again in the green room interviewing the act. Uh, nice to see them all backstage looking as though they're having a good time. Um, let's talk quickly about the voting mechanism. Um, I find it really weird. I, Ryan, again, over-exaggerating how much power the public had. Um, oh, the power The power is is one third so the entire population of ireland will make up one third of the vote compared to four international judges and four uh national judges nice to see that the national judges um are nothing to do with eurovision though um and then there's a fourth jury which uh, don't play any part in the voting at all and they're just there to give an opinion and can i just say it's really weird and nice actually how, how actually eloquent Jedward are when they're sort of being sensible and talking about music. Actually, I thought they were really, it was really nice to hear some of their opinions being voiced in a, in a sort of uh, uh, articulate manner. I thought it was really more articulate than what I'm doing right now. So um, I think well done to them because they, they come up with some really strong um, opinions. Um, let's talk about the songs. Song number one by Layla. Um, clearly a very nervous performance. And again, um, the theme for some of these songs is that these people are not natural dancers and you're making them do choreography and arm movements that look very awkward um yeah and it's a nice song but there's she's she's not she's clearly nervous with, with the vocal range and the dancing looks a bit awkward i, I i'm not sure that this is the one uh, to represent ireland uh, song two Adji. Adji reminded me of a sort of a song about breaking up or something that you would have heard by someone like example for example um and i remember going to see example in 2011 um which i went to see because my girlfriend who is now my wife uh, had a ticket and i went along just to impress her and i didn't enjoy it but the point there is that that was 12 years ago and ireland are still thinking that it's acceptable to send songs like that 12 years later Adji again struggled with his vocals and again struggled with choreography again don't make singers if they can't dance don't make them dance and we'll see that later on uh, with song number four um song three public image this is a really unusual song. Like musically, it's a very unusual song, and there's a nice message behind it. Um, and obviously, a lot has been made of John Lydon and the unfortunate situation that his wife is in. I think the nicest thing John Lydon could have done was write the song, appear on stage, and get somebody else to sing it who can actually. I don't know if his vocal intonations were purposeful, but it it verged on comedic you're trying to do a serious song about the memories that you have with your wife on a nice holiday before the alzheimer's affected her brain and her memories and you've sung it in a way i don't want to be disrespectful because it's a difficult situation but it, it, it's bordering on the sort of when Vic reeves used to do the club sing around in shooting stars that's the only way i can describe it and it's a unique song it's a different song and it was the best of the first three that i heard i thought um so that's something to consider um would John Lydon's public image or his, his, his popularity, would that be enough to carry him through to the final because he is the man from the Sex Pistols? I don't, I'm not sure. I don't think it would. Um, Connolly, song four. Brilliant. And what you do when you get a good singer-songwriter and don't make them dance and you put them on stage and you sing a song, this girl can sing, and that's quite clear. We've had three songs of in the first three that were very pitchy or had rhythm problems, but here... Um, she's doing really well. Just going back to Adji, because uh, this is being done live. Um, Adji's second verse, where it's the only sound on the track is that sort of syncopated synth brass sound. He gets lost in his own timing, trying to sing on the beat to the, to the sort of brass, synthesized brass sound. It's really, and that, again, that's another reason why it's, I didn't enjoy it. I, I gave Layla a, a five out of 10, thinking that would be the lowest score of the night. And then I had to give Adji a four out of 10 uh, on my little internal rating system. Back to Connolly. Connolly, I, I, I think this is a good song. Quiet songs at Eurovision go one of two ways. They get a big media buzz behind them and they qualify or they crash out. And I don't know what way this could go if RTE put money into her promotion and make sure this is a quiet song, but it's a really good song, then, you know, they, they could they could achieve a lot there. Wild Youth, 
With a name like Wild Youth, I expected something really edgy, and we didn't get it. Um, what we got was, and Jed would say it again, that this was a band like U2, and, and I wrote it down in my notes. They're like a sort of a U2 light version with a song that is is nice, but we've heard it before. I don't think it's anything particularly new, but it was well performed. Again, considering the first three songs were so poorly sung, to have songs four and five actually performed well was good. I think in terms of what I'm more likely to want to listen to, um, it would it would be Connolly over Wild Youth, but I think they did well. And then finally, um, uh, song number six, uh, Kay Muniz and MD. Um, rap, rap at Eurovision is a very, it doesn't happen very often, and when it does, it doesn't do very well. Um, Love City Groove, the Danish bloke talking about a telephone in, in 97. Um, but this was good. This was a nice, and again, I think that the, the, the non-judging panel made a good point that this was a nice chill track. And this was something I probably, if it was on my car, in my car on a summer's day, this was something I'd probably enjoy listening to on the radio. Um, again, another example of don't make people who are not natural dancers have choreography. If they want to bop about the stage, great, but don't make them do footwork because it looks really uncomfortable um, to watch. But again, actually, I, I think if you sent it, this would not be a disaster. Um, I think actually it's it's a chill track. Again, rap across Europe, I don't know um, whether that would do well or not. But actually, I, I think that was pretty damn good. Um, so for me, it's probably song four, Connolly, comes in first. Um, probably actually came, song six, K Muniz, um comes next. Uh, Wild Youth in third. Public Image in fourth. <sighs> Layla in fifth and Adja in sixth. I suppose for Ireland, the big thing is what do Ireland want this year? Do they want to qualify? Do they just want to get out of the semi-final and appear on the final in Liverpool? Or do they want to do well? And I think, actually, their goal is, can they just get out of the semi-final? They've not gotten to the semi since, uh, out of the semi-final since 2018, and Jedward were the last people to do it before then. So a real long time and not very often. I don't think Ireland do up-tempo pop very well, and you can see that in songs one and two. And I actually think they do the quiet song, like song four, Connolly, a lot better. Um, song six being a rap song, it's very it's hard to sort of say how that one would go. Um, but I think Ireland, they haven't approached this wanting to win it. I think they've approached it saying, we just need a song that will get us into the final so that we've got the viewers on Saturday night. Um, that's what I thought. Um, the voting will be on in five, ten minutes' time, and you can all comment um, in the comments how badly wrong I've got it. But um, like, share, and subscribe, and we will, and I will see you all soon.